Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this new video. So in my previous video, what we have discussed, we have discussed with the uh, body effect and uh, P-type transistor. And uh, also we have discussed in the first video about the MOS transistor theory introduction part and one NMOS enhancement type of transistor, right? So these things still now we have discussed from uh, module two of the subject PLSI design and testing. So please, those who are new to this video and those who are watching for this video for the first time, this uh, playlist video for the first time, my sincere request to you guys is to go and watch the playlist from the first go and watch every video because it will be very useful during the exam point of view. Okay, because these videos, whatever I'm making, is respect to the respect to the exam point of view under video syllabus. Okay, so please go and watch till from first those who are new to this channel. And those who are watching continuously and those who are continuing with the playlist only. So now we have come to the concept of influence of beta n divided by beta beta n by b is to beta p ratio, or you could be simply calling it as beta ratio concept on transfer characteristic plot. Okay. So how it uh, varies? Uh, also already we have discussed the uh, NMOS and PMOS IV transfer characteristic plot with respect to different regions. Okay. How it would be formed if the two NMOS PMOS characters are getting overlapped? That is, in the CMOS inverter characteristics we have discussed. Okay, so we are going to continue with that. Also, in the previous video, we have previous videos I forgot to tell you that we have discussed with the transfer characteristics as well. Okay, so that also with keeping in mind, we are going to study with the influence of this beta n is to beta p ratio. Okay, where n stands with respect to NMOS transistor. And P stands with respect to P MOS transistor. Okay, let us start now to study how the transfer characteristic changes with the respect to the ratio that is beta n by beta P. We plot the transfer curves for different values of beta n by beta P that as shown in the figure. That figure I'm going to show you later. First, uh, let us see some of the parameters which you need to be knowing. One is gate threshold voltage. Okay. That is, V in is the point where the input voltage that is uh, equals to the output voltage. That is, V in equal to V out. This threshold voltage depends on the ratio. Okay, so whatever the gate threshold voltage that is V i and V, okay, this is mainly dependent on this ratio influence. That is, beta n by beta p ratio. Okay, changing beta n by beta p, change the value of this beta ratio in a given process. We must adjust the following channel dimensions that is first is channel length and channel width okay if you want to change the ratio these things you need to you need to be adjust in the uh, given uh, circuit or the process technology of cmos you should be varying this length and width then, then only the values of this ratio would be getting changed okay observation from figure 2.15 so that figure is here okay this figure so this figure, okay, first let us see this figure now, then we'll see the observation part. So you see this figure, if you observe carefully, there are three different curves. This is, with, this is with respect to V out and V in, and this is VDD, that is the input supply voltage. And there are three different curves with different values of different ratios. That is one is this curve is for beta n by beta p is equal to 10. And for this, uh, this is that curve. And this curve is for beta n by beta p is equal to 1. And this curve is for beta n by beta p is equal to 0.1. Okay, how the curves are getting changed and uh, what are the values which, which are going to be changing here with respect to the uh, VDDs that is input voltages given. Okay, you could be seeing here. Okay, actually there are five regions which I have discussed, right? That is 1, 2, the, the 3, 4 and 5. Okay, if you, with respect to these five regions, for uh, different different values of this uh, beta n by beta p, the curve would be getting uh, shifted to the right hand side or left hand side. Okay, yeah. So this is the curve here. Now let us see the observation from this curve. When beta n by beta p decreases, the transition region in the transfer curve shifts from left to right. Okay, whenever the value of this curve uh, decreases. Okay. So, I, as I already seen the curve, the values are getting decreasing, okay. The, the curve is shifted from left to right, okay. So, this is the left part. Uh, the When the values are com becoming less than 10, see here from 10, it uh, decreased to 1 and then it decreased to 0.1, okay. So, the values are slightly getting decreased. So, that's why the curve is shifting towards right, 
okay similarly when the values are increasing for example from 10 it becomes 100 1000 then the uh, curve should be shifting from right to left okay this like this the curve should be looked so that's one observation here one more is however the output voltage transition remains sharp okay the output voltage transition would be remaining sharp that is they won't be it won't be getting any it won't be affecting any values of the ratio don't be dependent on that therefore the switching performance does not degrade okay comparison comparison with nmos inverter if you see here in an nmos inverter if you observe switching gain heavily depends on the ratio that is pull up part load and pull down part transistors okay in case of the nmos inverter CMOS inverters, on the other hand, maintain sharp transitions regardless of the ratio, that is beta ratio, as long as it is within the reasonable range. Okay. For the CMOS inverter, a ratio would be basically beta n by beta p would be equal to 1 for a CMOS inverter. Ideal ratio, ideal beta ratio, what what how would the ideal beta ratio would be looking like? A specific beta ratio is often desirable. It ensures that a capacitive load can charge and discharge in equal amount of times. This happens when both NMOS and PMOS provide equal current with the sourcing and sinking abilities. Okay, sourcing and sinking abilities means absorbing and retrieving of current values with respect to a circuit given. Okay, now effect of temperature on transfer characteristics. Okay, one is carrier mobility and temperature. As temperature increases, the mobility of charge carriers, that is uh, electrons and holes in the MOS channel decreases. The value of beta is affected by temperature and follows this relation here. That is, beta is proportional to t to the power minus 3 by 2. Okay. Current dependency, since IDS is directly proportional to beta, it also becomes IDS is directly proportional to t to the power of minus 3 by 2. The ratio of uh, beta ratio and temperature. The mobility of electrons in NMOS and holes in PMOS both decrease with respect to the change in temperature, but since they are affected similarly, the ratio beta n by beta p remains nearly constant with respect to the temperature. Next is effect on threshold voltages. Both NMOS threshold voltage VTH, the threshold voltage is VTH, and PMOS threshold voltage VTP slightly decrease as the temperature rises. This causes region A in the transfer curve to shrink. Okay, the region A, which I already discussed in the previous video, that is the first region where the first change you could be observing in the curve, that is from constant, it slightly away, it slightly varies. Okay, that region is called as region A in the transfer curve to shrink. Okay, it shrinks, that is the we would be observing a, a drastic change in the region A. Okay, when the effect, when the threshold voltage is getting affected. Next is this curve. Okay, we have already seen the observations. Okay. Understanding this figure, this graph shows the transfer characteristic of a CMOS inverter. Okay. This is again one curve. Uh, this curve already we have discussed that is uh, this is this comes from the CMOS inverter characteristic curve. Okay. These are for different uh, beta ratios, the different curves. Okay. That is how output voltage V out changes with respect to the input voltage V in. Okay. Axis, one is X axis is for input voltage V in and Y axis is for output voltage V out which I have already told. Okay. Next is curves. Each curve co corresponds to a different value of uh, beta ratio where beta is equal to mu into COX uh, into W by L which I have already told you where mu is the mobility of carriers, W by L is the width to length ratio of the channel and COX is the gate oxide capacitance. The ratios shown are the three ratios shown in the graph are beta n by beta p is 0 0.1, 1 and 10. Okay, when we see the drastic change in the, that is when the beta ratio decreases, we could be saying that the transfer curve shifts from left to right. And when the ratios are increasing, the transfer curve would be shifting from right to left. Okay. Some of the key observations from the graph here, one is transition point shifts. When the beta ratio is high, for example, when uh, it is equal to 10, the NMOS is stronger, more current capability. Okay. The inverter threshold voltage, that is VINV, where V in equal to V out shifts from uh, shift to the left. Okay. Observation these are. Next is when beta n by beta p is low, for example, 0.1, the PMOS is stronger and the transition point shifts to the right. Okay. So these are some of the observations here should be knowing that is. 
when what are the when uh, ratio is high and when ratio is low uh, what are uh, what are the tra uh, transistors which are stronger and weaker are mentioned here okay this means that you can control the switching threshold voltage of the inverter by tuning the strength of both at the time that is nmos as well as pmos which is usually done by charging the w by l ratio okay so this is some other thing uh, theory if you want you could uh, i won't explain it you could be seeing it okay so again these are some of the temperature effects of this uh, beta ratio okay that is as temperature increases carrier mobility would be decreasing okay so we could be saying that uh, temperature and mobility are inversely proportional to each other with according to the ratio that is mu is directly proportional to t to the power minus 3 by 2 or you could saying that 1 by t to the power 3 by 2 or and beta is di directly proportional to the t to the power minus t by 2 again these are inversely proportional so current ids also decreases both but both nmos and pmos are affected equally beta n by beta p stays approximately constant threshold voltages vtn and vtp decrease slightly with respect to the rise in the temperature this causes the transfer curve to to shift to the left or shifting to the right with respect to the change in the temperature okay yeah so these are few observations from the graph of uh, beta ratio with respect to the inverter uh, cmos transfer characteristic plot okay how the regions are getting affected how the plots are getting shifted from left to right and right to left and what are the changes observed in nmos and pmos transistor regions everything we have discussed in this video okay so this was the uh, brief video about the beta ratio okay in this video we have covered only one concept beta ratio okay so that's all guys we are going one video at a time okay because all these concepts are very very important so i don't want to rush uh, rush it with the uh, doing multiple concepts in one video, okay so that's why i have done only one concept in this video please uh, watch this video till the end like this channel like this video subscribe to our channel please be updated and uh, please mention some of the comments which you uh, which you feel in your mind that is whether these videos are helpful for you or not it would be very more uh, 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 we are very keen to know about it since we are getting a high high number of views but the comments are very less okay so that's why i want each and every one to please comment down about how you feel how, about this video and if you have any doubts regarding to these concepts you are free to ask the comment section is all yours okay yeah so that's all guys thank you for listening till here like share subscribe to our channel thank you